Hello educators, this is your crazy educational consultant, Michael David Harrison, and I'm here today to answer one of your burning questions. Today we have a burning question from an anonymous principal in Michigan. Her question reads, does anyone actually take a duty-free lunch break as a principal? When I was a teacher, I often found myself spending about seven minutes scarfing down food so I could prepare for the next lesson. I thought that as a principal, things would be different as I would have more flexibility and time for a lunch break. However, I often leave half-eaten protein bars on my desk and cold chili that I've reheated and still don't eat until it's cold for the third time. What should I do to preserve my lunch break? Hmm. Having served as principal for seven years, I can definitely relate to this situation. The work is so consuming, and you become so involved in your work that time escapes you. Reclaiming my time. Okay. Reclaiming Matter of fact, my time. Mr. Secretary, the Before you know it, the dismissal bell rings, and you're about to enter round three of the principalship, feeling weak and weary. Y'all go ahead. I just need a donut right now. Ooh, I just need a donut. I have tried switching up my meals by eating more food items efficient to eat and grazing on healthy snacks throughout the day. But by the end of the day, I'm still hungry. Today I want to suggest five strategies that you can do to make sure that you enjoy your lunch break every day. If teachers are entitled to a 30 minute duty free lunch break, then surely you deserve one as well. My first strategy would be to designate a set time of the day each day that you can consistently uphold as your lunch time. Pick a time when things are not as busy on your campus. As I have experienced in the past, you may find that that time is before or after your teachers and students have eaten their lunches. Okay, the coast is clear. Let me go ahead and try to get my lunch down. Remember to be flexible because anything can happen at any given moment as long as you make it a commitment to honor your lunch time. Once you have designated your lunch time, my next strategy would be to have your secretary or office staff to protect your time. Have all concerns forwarded to them while you're taking your lunch break. Make sure they give you an update upon your return. All right, Mr. Harrison, I took all your messages while you were on break. These are all of your messages, all right? Now I need to take my break. My third strategy would be to simply close your door and turn off the lights. It never ceases to amaze me how people will still come looking for you. even with your door closed. That's why it's important to turn off the lights. Oh, my hand is bleeding. Oh, my hand is bleeding, Mr. Harrison, my hand is bleeding. Really? If you find it hard to eat in your office uninterrupted, my fourth strategy would be to simply eat with the kids. This option will enable you to build strong relationships with the students, gain greater visibility on campus, and provide you with a set schedule to eat. I strongly suggest you switch it up with the grade levels so that you can interact with all students. Oh, we've got to do better with this cafeteria food. Ugh, disgusting. My final strategy would be to delegate your duties before taking your lunch break. One of your goals as a principal should be to groom your assistant principals into the principalship. So use that time as an opportunity for them to see what it's like being you. Let them run the school for a minute or 30. This has been a winning word of wisdom from your crazy educational consultant, Michael David Harrison. I want to continue to hear from you, so don't forget to send me those burning questions to my email at drmichaeldharrison at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Stay tuned next week for our burning question of the week. You are the degree professional and you were called to this assignment. Go forth and fulfill your purpose. And remember, tough times don't last forever, tough people do.